and witnesses say the cat died horribly. Ha, ha, I guess they won't be trying that stunt again. And now, with this week's movie review, is Channel White T's own Trekker Bud. Thanks, Christian. Hey there, YouTubers. Glad to see you again. This time, I'm here to review director Joe Johnson's The Wolfman, starring Benicio del Toro, Anthony Hopkins, and Hugo Weaving. This is, of course, a remake of the 1941 classic horror film of the same name. This time around, it is Del Toro who plays the man who is bitten and succumbs to the curse. Even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. This film does a decent job of creating a creepy atmosphere, and on the whole is a good movie, but that's it. It's good, but not great. Maybe it's just that with actors like Del Toro and Hopkins, I expected more. Don't get me wrong, it isn't their acting that's at fault. Actually, it isn't any one thing that's bad. Like I said, it is a good movie. It has some exciting scenes, like the werewolf attack in the gypsy camp. But it never rises above the original, and there are no real surprises. In the end, it just isn't all that memorable. I do give this remake credit for not using CGI on the werewolf. Instead, it was done by legendary makeup effects artist Rick Baker. It looked awesome and turned out much better than any computer generated effect. Unfortunately, the transformation was in CGI and it showed. However, they did make it jerky and cut it so it kind of mimicked the original 1941 effect where they stopped and started the camera to apply more makeup. Still, I wish they had let Rick Baker handle the entire thing. In my opinion, the original wasn't the best of the Universal Studios monster movies, and so maybe a remake was always destined to be only mediocre. I give this one a 6 out of 10. Worth watching, but maybe you should wait to rent the DVD. Well, until next time, remember, don't hog the popcorn. See you later!